Amidst the fanfare for the launch of Modern Warfare 2, Activision has quietly released a Wii version of the original. Dubbed the Reflex Edition, this adaptation has come out with little fanfare. Does it hold up to the original experience, or is the silence surrounding this latecomer a sign that things have gone horribly wrong? Nikolai's <laughs> in hell right now. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of our friends. In the roles of British soldiers Soap McTavish and U.S. Sergeant Paul Jackson, Modern Warfare tasks you with eliminating a group of international terrorists who have seized control of a country in the Middle East and threaten the world with nuclear weapons. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How to Muppet like you past selection. Aside from Captain Price's substantial mustache, there's not much to attach you to the characters. But the pivotal action scenes deliver some truly memorable moments. Nearly every aspect of Modern Warfare has been carried over to Reflex. The campaign lasts a brisk six hours, but it's excellently paced. You'll defend a tank incapacitated in a hostile city, don camouflage to sneak your way to a key sniping position, and ride as a gunner in a helicopter and an AC-130 aircraft. Plus, the game lives up to its name by giving you access to high-tech equipment like night vision goggles and handheld missile launchers. Reflex also includes Modern Warfare's full suite of multiplayer options, including all the perks, modes, kill streaks, and challenges. As you gain experience, you'll be rewarded with access to new modes, weapons, attachments like scopes and silencers, challenges to complete, and infamous perks like Last Stand and Martyrdom. All 16 original maps are included in the Wii version, but it doesn't include ones added later as DLC. Since the Wii lacks a hard drive, that content likely won't be coming. Play is limited to groups of 10, but matchmaking is easy, letting you quickly jump into free-for-all death matches and objective-based team modes like Domination and Sabotage. Playing with friends is a bit more cumbersome as it utilizes Nintendo's friend code system, and there's no way to add players you meet online. There's no server migration either, so if the host quits the game, the match will end, counting the current score as final. <laughs> Reflex gives you a wide range of control settings and options. You can choose from six preset aiming schemes or dive in to adjust bounding boxes and cursor speeds manually. If you've already found a comfort zone in other shooters like the Conduit, it's easy to match that in Reflex. You can also lock the camera in place by holding the A button, and as a visual perk, twisting the remote affects the angle of the gun as well. Modern Warfare's Snap 2 mechanic while aiming down the sights is preserved too, but it can take a little getting used to with a Wii Pointer. Modern Warfare keeps you on the move through hectic urban firefights, and much of the gameplay lies in determining when to rush forward and when to stand your ground. Orders called out by commanders and the movements of your squad often serve as cues for your next objective. But at times, you'll find yourself shooting the same respawning enemies until you move past an invisible checkpoint. Overall, the campaign is exhilarating, whether you're blowing up an anti-air gun with C4, rushing to rescue a downed helicopter pilot, or trying to avoid being flanked in the crowded cubicles inside a TV station. Reflex also lets a second player assist in the campaign, enabling a second cursor on screen. However, it isn't all that fun to be the squad mate, and it's hard to keep up with another player moving the camera. The yellow cursor is also often harder to see. There are a few sacrifices in the online multiplayer. The lack of voice support means it's more difficult to coordinate teams, but it does spare you from teenagers spouting slurs and profanities. There are no kill cams, so it's easier for campers to set up shop, and lag is a bit more common, especially if you're playing through the Wii's default wireless setting. Despite these setbacks, the online play that's kept people hooked for well over two years is just as addictive on the Wii. The most obvious change in Reflex, of course, lies in the presentation, and while it's clearly a far cry from the original, Treyarch has done an admirable job of making the game faithful to its look. There are no texture effects or complex real-time shadows, and Al Assad's broadcast has been pulled off the air, but subtle effects like smoke, drifting ash, and shafts of light lend to the war-torn atmosphere. All the game's major structures, as well as its scope, have been kept intact, though it's come at a price. The frame rate can get extremely choppy in the more demanding scenes.
Despite the downgraded visuals, the Reflex Edition of Modern Warfare lives up to its heritage with a strong campaign and multiplayer that will keep you up until sunrise. Let's be clear, if you can play Modern Warfare on any other platform, there's no reason to pick up the Wii version instead. However, if Reflex is your only choice, you shouldn't wait any longer to enlist in this landmark experience.